Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and on today's video as promised I'm gonna be doing Evil Dead the game everything we know about Evil Dead the game so far honestly there's not too much that we know but I figure to keep the hype going I should put this video out I'm also gonna be making another Evil Dead the game video probably in the next week or two uh, as well just because I had another video idea while I was making this one but first I'm just going to be reading from the actual website just reading some of the descriptions and stuff that they've laid out for us and then I'll be getting into more other stuff just confirming and talking about other stuff so let's get right into it no bullshit in here alright so the first part of this thing that I've written down here was play as characters from throughout the Evil Dead universe including Ash, Scotty, Lord Arthur, Kelly Maxwell, Pablo, Simon Bolivar and more with new dialogue performed by Bruce Campbell and others Alright, uh, simple enough. We know that all those characters are going to be playable from at least the survivor side. Uh, we already knew that Bruce Campbell would be voicing Ash. That's obvious. Play as good or evil. Fight for the forces of good or take control of the powerful Kandarian demon to hunt Ash and other players while possessing deadites, the environment, and even survivors themselves as you seek to swallow their souls. Now this is interesting because now this, now we know that it will be like a 1v4 asymmetrical survival horror kind of similar to Dead by Daylight but not so it'll be in the same genre but just very different and that's cool and I'm really cool that uh, we can play as the Deadites themselves and we can possess stuff I'm pretty sure we can possess the Delta as well I think I heard that somewhere but I can't be sure about that but I think we can so that's cool that we get that variety of not only being able to play as the heroes like Ash and Kelly and Pablo, but we also get to play as the Deadites, the demons themselves, which is badass in my opinion. It just gives a little bit more variety to the game, and it's just a really good thing for the game in general to keep people around so it just doesn't get boring. Alright, the next one here they have on the website is over-the-top visuals. Whether you're tearing a Deadite in two with Ash's famous chainsaw hand or flying through the map as the Kandarian demon in spirit form, the game captures the look and feel of the Evil Dead franchise in all its glory with realistic visuals and a physics-based gore system that brings the horror to life. Okay, now this part is interesting. I didn't really think about it until I was uh, reading this, but... Fly through the map as the Kandarian demon in spirit form. Okay, so you're telling me that we're going to be able to do that first-person point-of-view fucking shot? Uh, like in almost all the evil, all the Evil Dead related stuff, where it's just the first-person camera chasing down Ash. That's just so awesome to me that we could be able to do that. Like, I don't know why. There's just something so iconic about that with the Evil Dead in general. So that's awesome. I mean, it's just a minor thing, but as an Evil Dead fanboy, that's fucking amazing. And I can't, I really can't wait to do that to play as the uh, Kandorian demon in spirit form and just you know, hunt down the survivors and possess stuff and shit like that. So that'll be really cool, and I'm happy they're doing that for the game. Just goes to show that they really are fans of the franchise, and they, they are doing, uh, they're paying attention to the details here, so that's awesome. The next one is, uh, this is my boomstick, which is brandish your short barrel shotgun, chainsaw, cleavers, and more to do some delightfully gruesome violence against the armies of darkness. Okay, that's simple enough. We're just gonna get a variety of weapons in the game, which that's cool with me. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of weapons they could use. They got pistols, you know, that uh, Pablo and Kelly use. There's like machine guns or uh, you know rifles that they use throughout the show. Ash's boomstick, his gauntlet, which is like his uh, metal fist, which hopefully you can use the Army of Darkness version as well as the Ash vs Evil Dead version. Uh, all sorts of weapons that characters from the Evil Dead franchise use to kill the Deadites like King Arthur's sword, Scotty's axe, so that's all good shit, just giving us more variety so it's not all just the same thing constantly. Now the next one is, work together as a team of four survivors exploring, looting, crafting, managing your fear, and finding key artifacts to seal the breach between worlds. Now this is interesting, so does that mean when we're playing uh, that mode, where it's like a 1v4, basically, uh, the objective as the survivors might not be to just, it's gonna seemingly be to breach the seal between worlds, so we might have to find the Kandarian dagger, or the Necronomicon, or other key artifacts in order to do that, and obviously the Kandarian demon will be picking people off as, you know, the round goes on, so hopefully, 
as a survivor, you probably want to have as many people that survive and then do that. But I'm sure there's going to be a lot of games where it's just like one or two of you that survives or all of you die. You know, it just depends on the balance of the game. So we'll definitely, uh, it'll definitely be cool. I like how it's, it's different than other games. It's more, it's like, it's kind of similar to Dead by Daylight in the sense that in Dead by Daylight, you can't really kill the evil permanently. You can't kill it at all in that game like you can in Friday the 13th. In this, you just kind of have to escape it. Obviously, you can kill the deadites and shit, but I don't think there's any... There could be. There might not be a way to actually fully put down the Kandorian demon. And if there is, it's going to be very challenging, just like it was in Friday the 13th. Now, the next one they have written down here is... Plenty of surprises await in this gore-filled battle against evil that captures the characters, horror, humor, and action from the franchise. Battle across memorable locations, including the infamous cabin in the woods, brought to life with tons of terrifying visuals, and all new dialogue by Bruce Campbell. Discover more than 25 weapons, including Ash's gauntlet, boomstick, and chainsaw, and advance in a variety of skill trees to grow stronger and survive in this fun co-op and PvP experience. Alright, there's a few things that catch my mind here. One, just goes to show more attention to detail here, the humor. Humor is a very big part of the evil, the original Evil Dead series. That's fucking perfect that they're trying to incorporate that into the game somehow. Obviously, that will mostly be through character dialogue and stuff like that. Of course, you can't have Ash just being serious the entire time. You have to have him being funny, as well as Kelly Pablo and the other characters that are playable. Uh, obviously, we know that the cabin uh, is going to be in the game. That'll probably be, you know, one of the few maps that's been introduced in the game to begin with. And then, uh, but it, that makes me wonder, memorable locations. There could be a lot of uh, locations that open up here. You know, we could go to the medieval times with Army of Darkness. That would be badass. You could have a lot of the locations from uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead and stuff like that. Like, you know, the bar that Chet worked at or, you know, stuff like that. Or maybe Ash's dad's house or the, the Brujo's, uh you know, what his house in that one episode with the Bruro. So, more um, variety among the maps is very good. I mean, as much as I love Friday 13th, and before it basically got kneecapped by the lawsuit, there just wasn't enough variety, and it's another thing that's like with Predator Hunting Grounds, and I don't really play that game that much anymore. I played it a little bit, but there's just not enough variety in the maps. Give us variety in the maps. Please, that's one of the things that Dead by Daylight strives with is variety in the maps because almost every game you'll have a different map. So, yes, hopefully they get, like you said, like they said here, uh, memorable locations as many as they can, just to give us variety. So not every game we're playing at the cabin, because as cool as the cabin is and as iconic as it is, it would get boring to play on the same map over and over again. Um, obviously, we know. Bruce Campbell will be voicing Ash, of course. Discover more than 25 weapons, including Ash's gauntlet, boomstick, and chainsaw. Oh, that th this last part is the one that caught my attention. Advance in a variety of skill trees to grow stronger and survive in this fun co-op and PvP experience. Now, that is something that will bring players back to the game. Because they're going to be wanting to grind for stuff. You know, you're going to be wanting to make your character stronger. Maybe you're going to be wanting to get more cosmetics. Maybe you're going to be wanting whatever. So that is good, just because that'll bring people back to the game, especially if the game's fun and they're like, man, I can't wait to get on Evil Dead the game tonight and grind out for this Ash or Kelly skin that I've wanted so bad. So that's awesome. I'm really happy they're doing that. So it's not just kind of like, and it's, I keep bringing up Friday the 13th, and I love that game, but there really wasn't that much to really earn outside of the Jasons. Yeah, there were skins for the counselors. And there were, you could get the weapons added to other Jasons. But it's like, you know, that's not really that big of a selling point in my opinion. So hopefully this will uh, bring a lot of people, uh, what is it called, player retention. Retain a lot of the players for the game. That's always a good thing for a multiplayer game. Alright, so this last part is just little stuff that I've written down here. Uh, one is of course, Bruce Campbell is confirmed as Ash. Dana DiLorenzo from Ash vs. Evil Dead is back as Kelly, which is awesome. I'm super happy that she's back. As well as uh, Ray Santiago from Ash vs. Evil Dead as well is back as Pablo. Now, that makes me wonder though, because I know in an interview I saw a couple months ago, and I can try to put that, pull that up for you guys here, uh, 
Bruce Campbell did mention that they were getting older actors from the older movies to come back as well. And he said they were trying to, or something along those lines. So that makes me wonder, will Marcus Gilbert return as Lord Arthur? And I'm going to butcher his name, but Richard D. Manicor? Uh, Richard D. Manicor as Scotty. Will they return? Uh, I really hope so. But that's not sure. Uh, we honestly have no clue if they will return. But, of course, as Evil Dead fans, we would want anyone who's playing the role to return as that role. Now, this next part, these are screenshots that were actually sent to me by someone named Nick, uh, at the final girl on, uh, Twitter, because I've made a post about Evil Dead the game, and I have no clue how they found it, these screenshots, because I have not seen these screenshots posted by anybody else, but I guess they got some, uh, insider information. So, with these screenshots, the most notable thing is there's a female character in these screenshots who we have absolutely no clue who she is. Um, my only two guesses, really, I could go with, they went with Cheryl. That's possible. I don't really think it's Cheryl. Uh, but I actually believe it's either Ruby or Annie Noby from, uh, Evil Dead 2. We have no real clue who this person is, and it's literally just their backside of them, you know? So, we can't really tell who they are. Hopefully, it is one of those two characters, because those two characters are really badass characters they could add. I'm leaning more towards Annie on this one, but I'm really not sure, and maybe you guys can comment down below and give me more uh, suggestions, or not suggestions, but uh, tell me what you guys, who you think she is. I'll put the screenshot up here. Uh... Another shot of, like, a play... I think it's a deadite. Playable, because you can see, like, you know, none of the other deadites are attacking him or anything like that. And it's also, like, you can see, like, the little thing on his back or whatever. So, uh, you can see Lord Arthur surrounded there. He's on the ground, so maybe they're about to kill him. And you can see the delta there as well. Really cool shot, showing off the deadites. And then, uh, another one of Pablo and the delta, just... Cool, badass, more uh, stuff with Pablo. Uh, the other one is Ash from Evil Dead 2 with the Delta and the cabin. Looks badass. I, I mean, I can't really say too much about it. It just looks really cool. The graphics look great, in my opinion. And uh, one quick thing I actually forgot to write down here was there was a screenshot of Pablo and Ash together, and it was actually Ash from Ash vs. Evil Dead. So, I'm going to put that screenshot up here for you guys as well. Just because, you know, I wonder if that's a skin or if it's like a different class. Like, can you have multiple pl people playing as uh, Ash or Kelly, depending on the skin? Like, is it like going to be a different class, a different gameplay style, or is it just going to be like cosmetics? I would say cosmetics, probably, but you never know. It's kind of like in Dead by Daylight, which I keep bringing Dead by Daylight and Friday 13th up, Dead by Daylight you can play with as anyone you want, it doesn't matter, you know, you could have a whole squad full of Dwights, or, you know, Yui's or whatever, it doesn't matter, so I wonder if they're gonna have characters set, you can only have one per game, so like one Ash, one Kelly, one Lord Arthur, one Pablo, or whatever, one Scotty, so that's very interesting, uh, hopefully we find out more information soon, and, uh, lastly, just to you know, get it for you guys, is, uh, it's gonna be playable on the PlayStation 4, 5, PC, the Xbox One, and I guess the Xbox Series X, or whatever it's called, honestly, I don't keep up with that Xbox that much, and, uh, the Nintendo Switch, so, seems like it's basically gonna be playable on all platforms across the board, which is awesome, it means that more people will come and play the game, that's good shit, because we want the game to succeed, of course, as Evil Dead and horror fans, and even people who are, like, just into Dead by Daylight, we'll be like, oh wow, Ash from Dead by Daylight, even though he's really from Evil Dead, oh wow, Ash is in Evil Dead the game, maybe I'll check this out, so we want as many players to really be uh, a part of this, just so we can have, hopefully there'll be like cross-play and stuff too, we want as many players to be as part of this, just because we want another game like, that's in the horror genre, multiplayer genre, to survive, that isn't just Dead by Daylight, um, you know, really looking forward to this game. 
super excited. We definitely need some more information because they released the trailer in like December and we haven't gotten shit since then. So hopefully we can get uh, a little more information like hopefully a trailer, gameplay trailer or something soon. Maybe some more character reveals. Maybe we can find out who this female character is who we don't know who she is yet. Um, yeah, that's really all I got to say about this one. Super excited about Evil Dead the game. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think, what you're excited for. Who are you going to play? Who, who's the first character you're going to play? Uh, I mean, obviously everyone's going to go for Ash, but if you're different and you're like, hey, I want to play as Kelly first, that's awesome. Uh, that gives me more room to play as Ash. <laughs> so, also let me know what you guys think about that female character, because that, I'm not sure who she is. There's probably a few options I'm forgetting here. But I uh, definitely really want to know what you guys think about that and who you guys think that that could be. But yeah, that's basically it for this video, guys. Uh, I'm going to have some more videos up. Uh, probably going to have a review for the Mortal Kombat movie coming up soon. Some more Dead by Daylight videos as well. And I'm going to have another Evil Dead the Game video out as soon as possible. It's going to just be not a theory video, but more of like things that I want in the game. So, y'all take care. Stay safe and stay groovy, folks.